Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the AC burst generation. Okay, let us say in your product you want to apply the 10 pulses of 230 volt peak and after immediate after you want to apply the 10 pulses of 500 volt peak and immediate after you want to apply the 10 pulses of 750 volt peaks and so on okay so how will you design this circuit in LTSpice? okay so why do you need this kind of pulses okay the first question arises this why do we need this kind of pulses let us say if you want to check if your design robust enough for a certain condition to meet a certain criteria you can apply these kind of pulses okay and the only question here is how will you simulate these pulses in LT spice it's not easy to simulate this kind of behavior in LT spice so today i'm gonna show you about how will you generate these kind of pulses in, in your LT spice in additionally let us say let us say you want to apply the 10 pulses of 230 volt peak then then there is a no pulse or zero voltage for some period of time then again you want to apply the higher pulses let's say 500 volt peak then uh, for some period of time you there is a no pulses that means zero volt and you want to apply then again 750 volt okay so how will you design this type of circuit so in this video i'm going to explain you in very detailed manner right so let us let us come back in this space so you can see here i have considered three vo three ac voltage sources v1 v3 and v4 and you can see here i have used the voltage control switch that is switch one and another switch i have used here at v4 the switch to this is also a voltage control switch so let me explain how will you design this circuit okay so let me show you the first voltage source v1 so you can see here the amplitude of this voltage source is 230 volt and frequency is 50 hertz and then cycle is right 10 cycle then you can see here i have connected one voltage control switch so this is called voltage control switch and it is driven by a pulse signal you can see here the pulse signal and i'm giving the on period is 5 volt rise time and fire fall time is 1 nanosecond and then t on time is only 200 millisecond that means after 200 milliseconds this pulse goes down okay then how will you define the model for this switch so there is a standard syntax you need to write it here okay dot model and switch name switch name is here as w1 then switch calibrates r on equals to 1 milli ohm are off equals to 1 mega ohm and vt that is v threshold equals to 0 0.5 volt okay so this is very important to understand here the v threshold you uh, since your on voltage here is 5 volt so i have kept v threshold is 0 0.5 volt as soon as your voltage rises above from 0 0.5 volt this switch get turns on then you can see i have connected another voltage source v3 and let me show you the characteristic of this v3 this voltage source v3 and you can see here the amplitude is 500 volt peak frequency again 50 hertz and this time delay time is 2 milli 200 millisecond and the cycle is 10 okay so so you can see since i have considered 10 cycle for v1 that means 20 millisecond pulse into 10 cycle you will have 200 millisecond now for v3 i am giving uh, i am giving the 200 millisecond delay so this will start after 200 millisecond now you see we have again one switch uh, which is similar like switch one and okay and let me show you the v4 behavior of v4 so you can see here the amplitude of this v4 is 750 frequency is 50 hertz t delays t delays 400 millisecond again the cycle is 10 so why i am giving here the 400 millisecond delay why because because the 
the pulse duration for v1 is 200 millisecond then after 200 millisecond this pulse v3 will start so the time duration 200 plus 200 is equal to the 400 millisecond and i want to start this v4 after 400 millisecond okay that is how i have that is why i have given the delay between each pulses the delay between v1 and v3 is 200 millisecond v3 and v4 is again 200 millisecond if you say the delay between v1 and v4 is 400 millisecond and you need to define the switch model like i have done here if you don't define the switch model your switch won't work right so now you can see here i have connected two resistances uh, r2 and r1 if you don't connect the resistance this voltage source comes in the parallel and lt spice won't allow to simulate this kind of behavior okay now let me run the simulation and you can see here the transient time is 650 millisecond now let me run the simulation and show you the waveform right let me delete this let me run again the simulation and let me show you the output voltage so you can see here the the output you can see here the first 10 pulse is ampli is having the amplitude of 230 then this second 10 pulse is having the amplitude of 500 and the third pulses is having the amplitude of 750 right so that is how you can generate the ac burst now let us say you want to have let me show you one more thing what i explained you let me uh, change the cycle here so you can see the first voltage source having five cycle then again the second voltage source having this five cycle and v4 is also having the five cycle okay let me now run the simulation and let me show you this type the behavior of the circuit now you can see the after the five circle the five cycle that means 100 millisecond you will have a delay of you you don't have any voltage here this is this is zero that means there is a no cycle present here and at this point of time you want to start start giving your you want to start increasing the voltage after 100 millisecond delay so this once this cycle completes then you have delay of 100 millisecond then you increased your voltage level to 500 millivolt and same here after the uh, five cycle there is a 100 millisecond delay and now you have also increased your voltage level to 750 volt right 750 volt you can see here you can clearly see how i am generating here a ac burst signal this this type of signal you can simulate and maybe if it is needed in your product testing or product behavior you can simulate your product behavior and you can test your your product and so guys now you see how will you design a ac burst signal ac burst pulse in alt spice okay so if you still have any further question or doubt i will upload this file in the google drive and i will share the link in the description section if you have any further question feel free to ask him in comment section Th thanks for watching this video